Rosalind Franklin, in her 20s, became a real master of X-ray crystallography, to use X-rays to figure out the structures of complicated molecules. Franklin was not a biologist, and she was very uh, frank about that. She did a lot of work for years on coal. So she was actually able to figure out the very complicated structure of coal. Franklin got hired with the understanding that she would be studying the structure of DNA. Well, nobody told Wilkins, <laughs> and nobody told Franklin that Wilkins was already studying DNA. I mean, that was unbelievable that that happened. He starts to treat her as if, like, she's his assistant. And Rosalind Franklin was not the sort of person to be treated as an assistant. She was very tough and wasn't going to take guff from anybody. And Wilkins clearly did not know how to deal with a strong woman. In the double helix, she's represented in almost entirely negative light. <laughs> Like, if this were a fairy tale, um, you know, she might be some kind of a witch, you know, who's holding on to the treasure and she won't let it go. Throughout the book, he uses the name Rosie to refer to Rosalind Franklin. In her own biographies, it is made very clear that she found that name an insult. He said if she had wanted to, she could have looked really pretty, as though Number one, she should have, and number two, she didn't, and number three, she, if she really put effort into it, that's the thing that's really important. Outside the Franklin that Watson knew, if you followed her to one of her weekends in Paris, you would see a very, very different woman. The book was controversial because of the way Jim wrote about people. There are a lot of passages in the book that, that are just insulting. He could have written a book about his personal experiences in the discovery of the structure of DNA without doing that to people that he worked with. 